is our new collection for this year. So Evo Spider, uh, SVJ Roadster, Evo Coupe, and a very nice uh, Uros uh, with a flat uh, gray color. Mark no, Greg. Yes. yes. Hey, when you're designing a car, you're, and it's a coupe, you're, that's what you're thinking about. Are you also in the back of your mind going, we're going to take the roof off this car yeah. at some honestly, point? Honestly, of course, honestly speaking, you start with a coupe. And uh, I mean, for Lamborghini, the, the single center line that I always call the Gandini line from Marcello Gandini, our famous uh, founder of our design DNA back then in the late 60s and early 70s. Yeah, the man that, who did the Mura. Yes, our, our maestro, I yeah. have to say. And, uh, you know, the guy uh, that created all of these uh, inspiring shapes, he also started, you know, um, with the single center line. That's why I call it the Gandini line. Um, I am, you know, I'm always saying that maybe Lamborghini, uh, we are having the strongest design DNA in the in, uh, entire automotive world. Example, sometimes at home I'm sketching. So my son, my little son uh, came to my desk and I was sketching this single center line. I just started and accidentally he arrived and he was saying, Papa is a Lamborghini, just by the line. You can name our entire brand just by this silhouette. And, and he said, Papa, can you go make my tea? Exactly, yeah, by my <laughs> two car. years old, no, no, no. to buy me a car. <laughs> no, but I mean, uh, this is How for me. Is he? Two? Now, now it's four, okay. but it happened But he already. recognizes that. Yes, we do believe that in 10 years, in 20 years, or I'm saying even in 50 years, the, uh, the children and the people will dream about supercars. Yeah. Whatever engine will be inside, no one knows, yep. uh, but I, I, for me that will survive. I ask you, do you think there's a form language that, do you think more primary colors, do you think, do you think this is orange, this has got to be orange, or this has got to be a bright high key color? Usually, than a black color, you know, which you know is usually my thing. colleagues, all the designers, when we are doing the design models, they will be painted in silver because in silver you can see really precise where's the shadow, where's the proportion of a, of a surface on top. Um, but I mean, we're also doing that uh, inside of Cento Steel Lamborghini, but I'm tending to create already an idea of a car together with the color because you know, for me, a color is underlining a character on the car, and you, I mean. For example, the SVJ Roadster that we're well, talking well, about later, sec, yeah. uh, it is you know, also showing this bronze color that is underlining. Okay, but this is I mean, you can see the crisp lines on the Y shape, the Y shape on our new design front end. Uh, you can see uh, the, the added volume that we did on the rocker panel, by the way. Uh, we took the surface further out and you know it's inspired by the rocker panel of the Reventon or the Mosellago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah? yeah, yeah. This is a, is, a, is a sexy rear end for sure <laughs> and uh, you know our clients were asking for more super sports feeling and uh, so we have decided to uh, mount a high uh, you know to, uh, to implement the high mounted exhaust pipes yeah. so they are you know closer to the engine so we are saving weight uh, uh -huh. but also we have in the same moment we have more space uh, for uh, yes downforce for me, the Aventador is always the starting point for our design DNA. So whatever we will talk on the Huracan or what we will talk on the Urus, in the end of the day, all the design cues of this car are you know, visible in our other cars. For me, first of all, I, mean, I was talking about the single center line, the yes. Gandini line. Yeah, yeah. The most important second one is when you see a Countach, when you see a Diablo, when you see an Aventador SVJ Roadster and you can see the car from far away, mm -hmm. you will see with that strong angle of the front window of the side uh, glasses, this is the typical proportion of a Lamborghini. Sometimes, you know, uh, my thoughts when we design uh, also the details on the car is how does it look if you take it and put it on the wall? <laughs> Really? No, no, but I mean, for me, uh, pieces on a car, they have to be designed in this way. That when you take them out of a car, that they are themselves a sculpture. And I mean, here, uh, my team has done a perfect job. I mean, this is, this is perfect Lamborghini visionary, technology, aerodynamic and design, everything together. So when you look at this Y shape, the Y shape, we have to talk about the yeah, hexagon it's also. Signature. It's our signature. So we were using this Y shape uh, that we have done on the Huracan Evo on the front. We have we took it here on the rear. And when you see that from the top, it looks super amazing. I mean, in the end of the day, it, for me, it's sometimes also like a motorcycle. You could take the car also, if you can afford, in your living room and just enjoy and it just as a sculpture. Yeah. Look at it. It is, uh, it's a car that I like very much because that that uh, gray, uh, this matte gray is really giving the car a precision. 
So for, for me, for me, it's important when you uh, compare the Aventador and the Urus, you can see that we took the design DNA of the Aventador of Lamborghini into the Urus. As a, let me say, not secret, but you know, uh, maybe the people that didn't hear the story, um, the Urus for sure is following the design DNA of Lamborghini, but we have combined elements from the LM002. Uh -huh. So there are three uh, you characters. About the LM, that was the mid 80s, it's almost like the a first, the Rambo Lambo. Exactly, it, yes, exactly. So you looked at that when you were working on this? Of course, of course. So for example, I mean, can you see the three elements that you, that are similar to the car? Also, oh, I tell show you. Me, show me. So first of all, when you, when you look um, at the side profile, um, the LM was, of course, designed more or less, uh, you know, with the with the ruler, so really straight it's quite, lines. It's quite boxy, so, yeah. but um, the feeling that we have here, climbing up and changing the direction, when you see that and when you compare the side profile, we have some nice sketches where I, we have visualized this. You can see the same feeling, but of course here we did it in an unexpected way. But the feeling is the same, like on the LM. Mm. Second is um, the wheel arches. So they are not just round wheel arches. As you know from the Kuntaj, the rear wheel arch is also Amazing. not round. So, uh, but we took also inspiration from the LM that is having these kind of um, edgy wheel arches, but also here more accelerated. A but ge also geometry. Yeah. yeah. Ge so, but when you take a look at the character, they are quite similar yeah, in yeah. terms of acceleration. And last but not least, small element, the air outlet here, the triangular air outlet, that is also inspired uh, from the LM002. We have added here an Italian flag that what we did there as well, mm -hmm. because we wanted to show proudly it's developed, it's designed and it's built in Santa Gata Bolognese. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we spoke about hexagons, ypsilons, Y-shapes. You can see in every little uh, finishing of a line, you can see an, a Y-shape. 